Well, Governor Bashir says Kentucky is now seeing three weeks in a row of increasing COVID-19 cases. He says it's caused by the highly contagious Delta variant making its way through the Commonwealth. But he's presented a new set of recommendations to stop the spread. And as LEX 18's Catherine Collins reports, he says there's a simple way to stop the mutation in its tracks. The fight against COVID-19 is not over yet. This, this is one that can be deadly to just about anybody. Governor Bashir says the Delta variant is responsible for three weeks of increasing case numbers. The positivity rate is back over 5%. We have um, the most aggressive variant that we have seen to date in our battle against COVID. He says the variant is believed to cause more hospitalizations and deaths, and it's spreading like wildfire in Kentucky's unvaccinated population. Uh, the hospitalization numbers, the death numbers, the ICU numbers are totally avoidable if you get vaccinated. Still about half of Kentuckians have not been vaccinated. Today, he made recommendations to stop the spread of the variant. The most important, he says, is for people who are eligible to be vaccinated immediately. But he also recommends unvaccinated people wear a mask indoors when not in their home. High-risk Kentuckians wear masks indoors when not in their home. And vaccinated Kentuckians who have jobs with significant public exposure consider wearing a mask at work. Certainly we'd recommend it for people in retail, for people in hospitality, but there's no question there are others. Business owners are already thinking about the recommendation. Bluegrass Tavern owner Sean Ebbett sent me this statement. Quote, I plan on speaking to my staff who are all 100% vaccinated about this recommendation and the rising numbers and let them choose if they want to wear a mask to work. I will support any decision they feel comfortable with. This is a no brainer. The fight isn't over, but Governor Bashir says Kentuckians already have the tools they need to win. In Frankfurt, Catherine Collins, LEX 18 News.